Well, a lot of you have had questions about masks. Should we wear them and what kind? And does the state have enough for the people who really need them? Action 7 News reporter Brandon Evans has some answers. Although there are several kinds of masks, we're going to break it down into two categories. The kind that patients and professionals need and the kind that you can make at home. With the projected surge of COVID-19 cases upon us, the state is scrambling to stockpile masks for the people at the front line of this fight. Finding these and getting these manufactured has been an international challenge. The governor says both the N95 mask and the standard surgical mask needs to be reserved for patients and providers. Please don't buy surgical masks and N95 masks. We want to create a vehicle where your state, your hospitals and your providers can access these. The reality is there just aren't enough for everybody. Can I promise every health care worker and every New Mexican that we're going to have enough of these? I can't. The governor says the only way that she can make that happen is that there are more people at home and less in the hospital. The chief nurse officer at Loveless Health agrees people need to continue staying at home. When you think about our health, this disease, this virus is three times as infectious as influenza. Both the state and providers like Loveless advise that it's a good idea when you go out to wear some sort of mask. And that brings us to category two, homemade mask. We've got so many people out there with those sewing machines whirring. They're just out there making mask after mask after mask, and we so appreciate it. A lot of innovation and creativity have gone into this crisis that we're experiencing. Which is about 10 inches. Even our own meteorologist, Kelly Franson, did a video showing how to do it. You can actually donate the mask you make at home. And although healthcare providers can't use it as a substitute for what they need, they can wear it as an extra layer over the other surgical masks that they're wearing when they're not in isolation areas. Reporting, Brandon Evans, KWT Action 7 News. The masks obviously have to go through an approval process at hospitals. They also want to know who donates them so they can thank them. For more on how to give, go to kot.com and click on this story.